Good morning and welcome back to the first fall show of Raider 305. As the seasons change, we'll be bringing you our same quality community coverage. Kicking off our show is a look into how we express ourselves through dress code. Mrs. Kratulis used to have a saying that students should be like a field of flowers. And after that, we tune into the music of a student athlete. It's a fast break, easy scope, lay up, tell them. And finally, Chris Sanchez explores name, image, and likeness for high school athletes. She plays in the loud crowds. Stay with us because we've got all these stories and more on, on Raider, Raider 305. 305. Camila, if I could wear a suit like this every day, I would. Well, I doubt that, but we're lucky that Gulliver enforces a dress code that reinforces who we are. Matilda Ohana has the story. When you think of school uniform, you might think button-on shirt, penny loafers, and a tie. But here at Gulliver Prep, students wear school uniform tucked into a little sense of their own self-expression. I can still be different, you know? Like, it's the way I look is different than someone else's, and I think the uniform can express that well. Okay, so this is document one. And this philosophy traces back to the school's founder. Mrs. Kratulis used to have a saying that students should be like a field of flowers. Everybody should be dressed differently and uniquely and be able to express themselves in their own way. It is not just about the flexibility. When we are wearing what we value and what we care about and what we do, hopefully kids are getting curious about, you know, uh, a mental health awareness shirt that's a, a reminder of like, hey, yeah, there's, th that's an important value for the school and their support for that. Like my club gives out shirts to everyone that's new. I could show that off and bring more awareness to that club and maybe people want to be a part of that club more. And these clubs provide a window into who the students are and what they stand for. They come to class and when I see them around campus, it's like it brings, you know, a smile to my face because it is part of me, my culture too. I like wearing this shirt a lot because like my mom is Brazilian so like I've always been raised in that like Brazilian I guess like culture. I like that we actually got to pick it ourselves so I think that like it actually represents like the people in the club and who we are. Woven through the fabrics of students every day, outfits are the stories of people from all walks of life. For Reader Vision, thank you. I'm Matilda Ojeda reporting. Dress code isn't meant to be broken, but this Gulliver athlete's career has done anything but follow the rules. Julie Paquette has the story. Imagine, it's your first day at a new school, and you don't know which group you fit into yet. Well, for Daryl Cannon, tackling the familiar is how he prefers to kick off his high school career. As a new guy, football has helped me like fit in the school because on the football team there's juniors, there's seniors, and there's sophomores. Like I would just feel fit in and I'll feel welcome. I started playing football when I was four years old. I would always play against like kids that were like older than me. Since we're out here suffering together all the, all the time, and we're like we come, we be like the bond grows closer. We always make jokes, play around with each other, and we always like take care of each other whenever someone needs something. And the harmony he has with his team carries him into the studio. One day I'm going to the beach with my family. I'm driving back home, hearing this little mumbling in the back seat, and I look. He was freestyling to the song, Panda Panda, blah, 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 blah. And this led to him producing a video tribute of the late rapper XXXTentacion that went viral. And he's been dropping bars ever since. And his teammates? are just finding out about his extra talent. I was talking to his brother one day at practice and he said his brother was a rapper and I was just shocked. He always plays his songs at the game, so, so I find it hilarious because like, we're stretching over there and then his dad just starts playing his music and then we all just yell fat cat and we just started laughing. You know what funny is? They tell me to play it. I never was gonna play it. They tell me, I get requests, three or four of them, can you play I got money, can you play I got money? It's, I like, I'll play it. Yeah, I feel this good. I feel like um, I feel happy that I'm appreciated like by my teammates. While playing football and creating music, he also has to balance keeping up with the tempo of his schoolwork. I was just um, I don't know how he does it because I personally wouldn't be able to do it. He, he is strong on time management and he handles that on his own. 
I don't have to tell him to go do his homework. I don't have to tell him to study. And it started at a young age. He's always been that way. I'm very, very proud. Because at this age, if I was 14 years old, I just don't see, there's no way I can juggle all that stuff. And for those who are nervous about starting the year at a new school, remember Daryl and that you can chart your own course by finding your flow. For Raider Vision, I'm Julia Paquette, reporting. After the break, Chris Sanchez takes a look at name, image, and likeness and how it applies to athletes like Daryl. We'll be right back. Yo, guys who played this game before that are all around that you don't know. You play for them too. You play for your family, your school, and you play for this community. Everybody got that. Yes, sir! And I grab bull, I got the wings and I ain't coming down. I keep it straight, every line is so intentional. This is your moment to let it go. You know that I'm into them way too cold. Too cold. We all know college athletes are eligible for name, image, and likeness deals, and the conversation has shifted towards high school. Chris Sanchez tells us more. <sighs> high school athletes know how exciting those sports games can get with the flashy plays and the loud crowds. And the calls from student athletes to use their NIL is even louder. The NIL stands for, give me a sec, <sighs> name, image, and likeness. Although college athletes are paid $26,000 to $77,000 per year, high school athletes are not on the same level, popularity or skill-wise. In high school, not even all sports require a tryout, so pretty much anyone can get in. And in the three biggest sports in America, those being basketball, football, and baseball, the average percentage for the D1 offer is below 1%, and for the lowest offer possible, it's 1.7%. That's how big the skill gap is. On the field, fame and skill isn't the only factor in this discussion, though. High school in America ranges from ages 14 to 18 years old. Us teenagers aren't known to make the smartest decisions, whether it be money or our life. So imagine what all that extra money and fame could do to our lives. And imagine what we could do to ourselves with that money and our wallet. The first thing I would think of is maybe some Shake Shack. Or even some video games. Or even some Gulliver Prep Raider Vision merch. But do these investments really help my future? All athletes deserve great recognition for the tireless hard work and dedication. However, when it comes down to the financial rewards, patience is still the name of the game. So until then, athletes, keep getting that work in. Well, Camila, currently NIL in Florida high schools is prohibited and it looks like it may stay that way. Well, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the future. That's all we have for you guys today, Raiders. We'll see you next time. On, On Raider, Raider 305. 305.